everyone covering more films from the festival in Madison. Today we got Noir Again and Mark Anvil story. And it was brought to us by writer-director Tom Burdinsky. And it tells the story of a P.I., Mark Anvil, who while driving along comes across a lady who's escaped from an insane asylum talking about the end of the world. Well, he just can't ignore a case that's fallen in his lap like this. So he decides to investigate further on the, what's going on with this mysterious woman. And he gets pulled into this crazy tale involving uh, vampire landlords and crossing paths with a pie-making uh, luchador, <laughs> okay? Uh, it's a comedy, more comedy than horror, okay, folks? And they do it very well. First off, they capture the essence of the noir film. I really am a big fan of noir, and I really like the Mark Anvil character. He really seemed like a true P.I., and you can tell a lot of care was taken in developing this character. I hope we see more of him in other films. Uh, the performers around Mark Anvil do very well, some of them better than others, uh, you know, and some of the dialogue in there was kind of cheesy and cliche. Okay, a lot of cheese involved in Noir again, but that's what they're going for, okay, as long as you grasp that. At first, I wasn't quite sure if it was going to be a more serious noir type film or it was going more comedy. And then when I saw the cheese flowing and the dialogue and the way, the direction that the plot went, I could tell that they were really going for comedy with this, and they do accomplish that. Now, there's a lot of different cameos in here from horror hosts around the nation, so uh, you should see that. If you are a big fan of horror hosts, you'll re uh, recognize a number of them. Okay, and the effects, you know, they did some cheesy CGI at the end of it, and again, it, it's for a comedy aspect, and I understand that. For me, it takes a little bit away from it when I see that type of uh, animation, but overall, I was very entertained by this movie. It's just a crazy wild ride that basically you just gotta sit and watch the uh, events unfold because it just goes in all uh, different directions as far as uh, zaniness. And I really loved the luchador character. <laughs> he was, the wrestler guy was great. He's voiced by Tom Burdinsky, in fact. And I just, I, I loved that character. I could almost see a film with just Mark Anvil and him. That would be an awesome film. So, Overall, the Warmageddon is a decent film as long as you realize that it is a, supposed to be a more of a comedy horror type film rather than a serious noir horror type film. As long as you approach it like that, I think you'll enjoy it. I know I did catch it when it's at a festival near you. Otherwise, uh, you should be able to pick up a copy as well. I'll look up for some links and put them down below. And that'll about do it here for us at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.